Around a month ago, I created and published a Roblox game, and to be honest, I did not expect much from it. Well, the video blew up along with my game and my Roblox bank account, but there is a major issue with the game. Be happy, you better hey, explain why you're why you're you lose the game. You see, I made the game in one week for a video, so of course bugs were going to be found. So in my last video, I attempted to fix all of the bugs, but long story short, my brain is soft and I suck at scripting. You know how bug fixes are supposed to fix a bug? Well, my bug fixes didn't even get rid of the bug. And as a matter of fact, it even attracted more bugs. And I only have a few days to fix the game before I go on vacation with my family. What am I getting myself into? So what would a good game developer do? Look at their user feedback and try to fix the bugs again? Well, personally, I think the game needs a new map, so let's just save the bugs for a future me. I started off by working on the spawn area of the map. I'm going to make the spawn a lot bigger so that it feels less crammed for the players. And after five minutes, we have a circle. Next, I changed the color of the grass to a more vibrant green because it was a little too yellow before. The path looks a little bland, so I thought I'd go into Blender to make bricks for more texture. All right, guys, it's modeling time. So for today's model, we want to make a brick. For this very complex model, I'm going to scale this cube into a rectangular shape and then add a bevel to it. Hope you enjoyed today's modeling session. With the brick imported, I just spanned it around the map and made the color slightly darker. I also thought it would look better if I rotated them, so I went ahead and did just that. Now it's time for the walls of the map. I'm lazy, so we're just going to use the same models that I used for the previous map. Well, this looks good. And you know what I like to do? Delete things that look good. That's right, we're starting over and using models from an old map. Now it looks decent, but the terrain parts just feel too low poly. So I changed the grass part so that it has more vertices, and I also shaded smooth. Now I think we're starting to get somewhere. I thought it would look cool if I copy and pasted the waterfall so it's on both sides of the spawn area. To make sure that players don't just run off the map, I thought it might be a good idea to add walls around the rest of the map as well. Big tip for all you builders out there, always add a second layer of walls for some extra depth. It really makes a big difference with how you're game looks. I thought it would be cool if I had the portal to the next world be much larger than before, and I'll place it right by the spawn so it's more accessible. At this point, I had no idea what I was really wanting to do with the map, so I just started messing around and adding paths. We've got a nice start to the map, but we could use some trees to fill up the open space. Epic tree time lapse. I don't know about you guys, but I think this tree looks amazing. I also made a second model of a taller tree. Watching a time lapse of making paths has got to be one of the most satisfying things ever. Now we gotta add some buttons to go along the path. Alright guys, it's modeling time. So for today's model, we want to make a button. For this very complex model, I'm going to scale this cube into more of a flat square and then add a bevel to it. Hope you enjoyed today's modeling session. All right, so we imported the button and I wanna make a script where the button increases in size and glows when the player is able to afford it. And with a little testing, we got the tweening working. Then I just copy and pasted a bunch of the multi buttons and linked it up with your cache. So it only changes once your cache is greater than the cost. And it's actually really satisfying to watch. For the wood buttons, I thought I'd add an elevated area in the middle of the map with a bunch of trees to add some variety. That only took like 30 minutes. With most of the map complete, I had an interesting idea. I thought that instead of having a bunch of portals leading to different worlds, it'd be cool to maybe just create a mega map including all of the different zones. I asked my Discord which one they wanted, and it became pretty obvious that people wanted a mega map. So I got right into making the sand zone, which wasn't too hard because I just changed the color of the terrain parts and copied the pyramid models from the map I already had. After a bunch of adding buttons and scripting, I created the snow world which was also pretty easy to make. I added in the giant snowman from the previous map to fill up the open space and make it more interesting. Before creating the lava world, I added all of the leaderboards into the new map. You know that desert portal? Well, we don't need it anymore, so I deleted it. I put all of the main stats in the circle that you spawn in, and then I put the other leaderboards by their corresponding buttons. Next, I made the lava map, but it was looking a little boring, so I made my own original volcano model. And when I ran the game, you can see everything ran perfectly. Also, I fixed the data store after watching a few YouTube videos, but I didn't want to show you guys that process because I know it's scripting is boring. Before publishing the game, I had to change the locations for the teleports, and with that out of the way, we are ready to see what people think about the changes. If you want to check out the game for yourself, you can click the link in the description. So you guys are probably wondering how much I've made from the game. Currently, we don't have many players because I just shut down the servers, but usually we're at around 17 players. We're also at 20k visits right now, which makes it more successful than my cookie clicker game. This game is also a lot more profitable than the cookie clicker because as you can see we have 26,000 robux which is 16k more than my previous video on this game which was less than two weeks ago. If we click on the robux icon you can see we still have another 7k pending. Maybe we should spend some of it on ads.
Alright guys, so I'm here in Arsenal and we're gonna be playing around to see if I can win. And if I do, then I'll spend 5,000 Robux on advertising my button simulator. I better lock in. I haven't played in ages, so I'm pretty washed, but hopefully I can clutch up. Five thousand Robux. Let's do it for three days. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little Arsenal clip. I know I said I would do more in this update, but I was on a time crunch because I'm leaving soon, and I didn't want you guys waiting for too long. Let me know if you have any fun ideas for the game, and I'll see if I can add them. If you're still watching the video at this point, comment Happy 27 in the comments for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.